Good morning. Um, we're still focusing on uh, my wonderful world of water, still a sea theme. I've sort of focused the art more towards the sea, um, as you've seen in the previous lessons. Today we're going to need a very sharp pencil, so make sure you've sharpened your pencil. Um, I am going to draw shells. If you have any shells at home, that's great. If you don't, I'm going to put some photos on the sides of my shells. And um, then you're going to need some paper, some pieces of paper. Probably we'll be working at the most, you'll need about four, the least two. And A4, I know how I always talk about the size of paper. I'm working on A4 paper. Now the first thing we're gonna do, which we do um, often in class, is I want you just to pick up your pencil, hold your pencil correctly. Hold your pencil like you're going to write. And I want you just to do this in the air, just to do this, just to loosen up nice big ovals, because most of the things we draw, we use ovals, nice big ovals, and get your arm moved up. I expect everybody to be doing this with me now. Right, once you've loosened up and you've got this, I want you to take your paper, and as you can see, I've already started on mine. I want you just to draw lots of ovals, and you must draw on a light line, lovely light line, not thick, heavy lines. I want you to almost hear the pencil just touching, just touching the paper. So we're just going to do some lovely ovals. I'm gonna actually stop talking and see if you can hear my pencil, but it's still really light. Go that you can see see my ovals. As you can see, I've started turning one of the ovals into a shell. But at the moment, I just want you to cover your A4 page um, with lots of ovals, but in light lines, light lines. do is I've got a shell here um, be really good if, if you do have any shells at home from any trips to the seaside that would be great if you actually have some shells if not we do what we call we work from a secondary source which means we work from a photograph of the shell and what I'm going to do on the slides is I'm going to take a, some good pictures of my own shells so you can work from those. But what's important as we know is when we're drawing, we must always be looking, must always be looking at the image that's in front of us, not making it up out of our heads. We mustn't let our heads tell our hands what a shell is. We must think only in shapes. So I'm gonna place the shell an arm's length away. So I put my arm right out and I'm placing it on, I'm actually placing it onto a white piece of paper. That just helps me see its shapes better. So it's an arm's length away from me. And then I'm going to, having done the ovals before, I'm quite warmed up with drawing an oval. I'm just gonna, in a light line, I'm gonna look at the shell and I can see it's an, it's an oval shape, the whole shell. So I'm just going to do myself an oval here. I've got quite a few lines on it. It's because I've been almost adjusting my oval. So I've got my oval shape. And I've tried to do it in the, in the same direction as the shell. The same um, angle, that's the word. The same angle as the shell. Then what I can start doing is I have to just tell myself, my brain, you're not making up a shell. I am going to draw in shapes the object that is in front of me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another, I'm going to think here, I'm going to just do some circles, some circles down the shell, just to break it down. So I've done this, I've looked for those shapes, some circles are down the, down the shell. This is just to capture these different different heights. And then I'm going to think about how, how that works. So that actually, that shape is another oval. 
and then we go up another oval like this so so I get this sort of feel and I just adjust my shapes as I allow my eye to look at the shell I adjust my shapes now when you have a look at mine I think it's going to be quite quite um interesting is I want you to see how I continually adjust my drawing I don't just go quick 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 and say I'm done I constantly reassess because I know this drawing has quite a long way to go until it's finished so my um shell I've built up in shapes I can see here if I put um, a line of symmetry down it that I've really come like this needs to come down a bit so I'm actually going to adjust that now you can see I've got lots of messy lines now so now now that I've adjust, adjusted my shapes I can then take a rubber this is only when you are absolutely satisfied with the lines being where they should be I can then take a rubber and I can tidy I can take out the lines that um, are incorrect so and there I have my shape the shapes of my shell We're going, to, we're going to, with our shell, we're going to make it a tonal drawing, which means we're going to demonstrate on the drawing where the dark and where the light is to show where the light source is coming from. So what we're going to think about is if the shell had, um, someone was shining a light from this direction, light, how would we apply tone to the shell now we're going to create something to help us it's called a tonal tornado so you need i've got like quite a thin piece of paper so you just need a sort of thin piece of scrap paper you place it down and you start really really dark really wide at the top really 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 dark so you can hear it and then as i go down I'm going to start taking the pressure, the pressure off the pencil. And I'm going to get it lighter and lighter. Now, if I squint my eyes at this, um, at this tone, at this, at this tonal tornado, so we've got dark here, dark, and then we've got light here. And this is going to be the mid-tones. When I squint my eye, here there's too much of a line the dark tone should go from very very dark and it should blend into the mid tones and then go very very light so do you see how I'm layering up my pencil which then gets this lovely it, it creates much more sophisticated layer of pencil you can see it's not scratchy it's all going in the same direction so I'm going to get this even darker and then I'm going to work on top and it's going to blend in. And if I squint my eyes, I shouldn't see any dark lines. When you've created one of these and you may have to practice, you may have to do four or five before you feel you get it absolutely correct. But the secret is, is the layering of the pencil on top. You then take it and you fold it in half like this. Okay, so you fold it in half. So you've got two halves now when I take this to my drawing if the light is coming from here that means the light end of my tonal tornado will be facing the light so that is the light is coming from here the light so that's the same as my arrow there and then when I place it onto my shell can you see, even by just placing it, the shell, just with the tornado, looks three-dimensional. And what I will do with this is I will use this 
I will use this to apply the tones. So it's going to start very, very dark here and then it's going to get lighter. Then I work back over it and I'm using this is my guide. This is um, demonstrating how the light's going to go. So it starts dark, and then it becomes lighter. Michelle, that's what we're focusing on today. We're focusing on tone. Tone is dark, so think of closed of curtain closed, dark to light. And tone makes something look three dimensional. But the main thing, it also demonstrates that the light is coming from here, and then the shadows will be here. So actually, where the shell is sitting, this is going to be much much darker because that is where it meets the surface. Um, of the of whatever it's sitting on so that demonstrates that it's on the it's actually sitting on something i could possibly i might in a moment add the shadow but at the moment it's all about the shapes of the shell that is the focus of the drawing exercise today uh, so i have my tonal tornado folded it in half got my direction of light which i know my light's coming from here and you can see how I've used it to demonstrate how to apply tone. Now you may have noticed in the video, even though I'm trying to keep my marks going up and showing the shape of, of the shell, but I've also on some of them, with this sort of using mark making, I have gone the other way, but it's only to, but I've very much blended blended it in so that is what we are going to do today and then you can have choose some more shells i put some more pictures as well on the slides and what i would really love to see is some beautifully drawn shells using shape so get your shapes right and then applying your tone and you will need to create one of these to help you a tonal tornado